Breath of the Wild has the most complicated AI out of any Zelda game. Of course, the Zelda series has always been renowned for its enemies, but Breath of the Wild set a completely new standard, making monsters that are so complex, so detailed, that no ordinary player could see everything the game has to offer. But that's not gonna stop us, now is it? From interesting horse mechanics to unique dietary behavior, today we're answering the important question, if a boko eats a banana, does it heal them? Weird as it might sound, the way that I became interested in this question begins with horses. You see, horses, similar to enemies, went through a huge overhaul in Breath of the Wild. For one, you gotta go out and tame horses yourself. They're no longer given to you as a freebie during the story. You gotta earn it. Secondly, horses have much more complicated AI than in previous games. In Breath of the Wild, they'll stay on paths and avoid trees for you. But most interesting to me is that horses can die. That's right, those pampered ponies that you've grown attached to can kick the bucket. And if they do, then there's only one way you're gonna be getting them back, and that's if you offer tribute to a creepy horse god. Understandably, players do not want their horses dying, so thankfully, there are a multitude of ways to heal your horses when they get a boo-boo. For example, boarding your horse or teleporting away and coming back will bring your horse to full health. Not to mention, many players love to feed their horses apples so that their horse bond will go up and so that the horse's hit points will go back to 100%. Unfortunately, your horses have been using an advanced technique on you. It's called lying. Apples do not <clears throat> heal your horse. They only add to your bonding statistic. You have all been swindled out of a lot of good apples. Case closed. But whoa, 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 this has now got me wondering. It makes sense for horses to be healed when you feed them apples. After all, Link eats apples all the time and they cause his hearts to be healed. Why does this have to be so inconsistent? And that's when I got thinking. Do enemies get healed when you give them food? In Breath of the Wild, it's possible to drop food on the ground around enemies. And if the enemy sees it, then they'll run over, pick it up, and eat it. But there's not a single Zelda wiki page that has documented if this heals enemies. Normally, in Breath of the Wild, enemies heal when you get out of their render distance, when they're revived in a blood moon, or when you play in master mode because then they'll auto-revive health. But none of these answer our question. Does food heal enemies? There's only one way we could do this. We gotta figure it out ourselves. Let's get to it. For this experiment, we're gonna be traveling to a small and secluded Bacoblin encampment. Now, the fact that it's Bacoblins we're testing this on is important. The other two major monster types are Moblins and Lizalfos, and both of them are carnivores. Bacoblins are the only monster type that is an omnivore, meaning that they can eat meat as well as fruits. This matters so that we can test if one type of food heals monsters more than another type. Well, if this works, that is. To be honest, I'm really curious what this means for combat and stealth in Breath of the Wild. If food is supposed to be used as a distraction item, something to divert attention, is it possible that we've been healing enemies at the same time? Or is it possible Nintendo forgot about this mechanic, just like the horses? It makes you wonder, you know? Oh, enough chat. All right, we've made it to the encampment. We're gonna be switching into the Pacoblin mask and the champion's tunic for this. The Pacoblin mask will allow us to be around enemies without them being hostile. And the champion's tunic is going to be what allows us to see the exact amount of health that the enemies have. And then I'm wearing pants, cause uh, I like pants. I think it makes sense that we uh, start things off with a bang, if you know what I mean. Thin the herd out a little bit. We only need one boko for this test after all. <laughs> Ah, ha, 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 there we go! One last boko. Come on, little buddy, don't be shy. Here's a little banana for ya. Time for the moment of truth. <laughs> what? No, <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo did it. What? And it just, it just bloops. What the heck is? What? What the heck? That's just. I don't know, what? To help quantify the amount of impact this discovery will have on the community, we interviewed speedrunning expert Random Gamer NX for his thoughts on the matter. Hey, Random, it's nice to have you here. All right, you have five seconds to tell us why you think that this is a big discovery. Um, no one else has discovered it. Awesome, that's everything. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> but there's still one big mystery in all of this. How much does food heal enemies? 
Well, it turns out, regardless of the amount of damage an enemy has, this will heal them to 100%. This includes giving meat to moblins, it includes giving fish to lizzlefos, it even involves giving a banana or meat to a boko. As long as the enemy can eat it, it can heal them. But this comes with a catch. There are two really weird exceptions to this rule. Whenever a Lizalfos eats an insect, it does not heal any of their health. And in the case of Yiga Clan members, it's impossible to get them to heal from a banana. If a Yiga Clan guards member gets damaged, they will instantly go into a combat phase. And if they're in combat, they're not gonna be eating bananas. And thus, our quest comes to an end. Ah, I'm so glad Nintendo pays attention to these small details, even when it takes us three years to find out about these secrets. It's just a testament to how great a game Breath of the Wild really is. Oh, and hey, before you go, I made a video a while back about Tupac Goblins on a hillside. It's a short film, it's a bit like an animation, but I'm using the game itself to create this story. You're gonna really like it. Until I see you next time, have fun storming the castle.